Hi everyone, today is Saturday, July 27th, 2019, around 3.30 p.m. I just got off an F train at the Sutphin Boulevard station and I'll be doing a walk of Jamaica and Jamaica Center in the New York City borough of Queens. Jamaica is known as the transit hub of Queens, connecting the Long Island Railroad as well as many connections to the JFK Airport. I'll be getting off at the Sutphin Boulevard and Hillside Avenue exit. be a long walk to the end but that's just the exit I chose this side is to Hillside Avenue and 144th Street the station mezzanine is just so big but Jamaica was actually uh, settled under the Dutch in 1656 under New Netherland as Rustdorp and under British rule, it became known as the town of Jamaica. Now, even though many of the residents of Jamaica share common ethical, ethnical backgrounds with the Caribbean nation of the same name, the word actually uh, doesn't come from that background. It came actually from the Native Americans who called the area Yamico. It was a war for the name Beaver, and under corruption of the English, they became known as Jamaica because they couldn't pronounce Yamico. So that's the origin of the name Jamaica. I'll be taking the southwest corner exit. So under the English, Jamaica became a large trading post, especially for uh, beaver uh, pelts and ponds. A lot of trade when that happened in Jamaica for like goods like lumber and weapons. Okay, there's people there sitting on the stairs, which is kind of interesting. Here you see two buses here. They travel on Sutphin Boulevard and like I said before, Jamaica is a major transit hub for not only the subways and trains, but the buses as well. That's Hillside Avenue. And I'll be walking towards uh, Jamaica Center on Sutphin Boulevard. Jamaica has a lot of history, a lot of different ethnic uh, backgrounds live here. It's a big commercial area around Jamaica Center. That's the area around Jamaica Avenue and Archer Avenue. So Jamaica is actually the home of many of uh, the Borough of Queens government buildings. It's home to uh, many different court buildings, including the Queens Civil Court, the Queens County Supreme Court. Uh, the Social Security Administration has an office in Jamaica. And just mentioning the court, the courts already. To my left is the Queens County Supreme Court building. Random shopping cart here. Probably belongs to uh, somebody who uses it to push away all their belongings. But that's the Queens County Supreme Court House. When many people have jury duty, that's where they have to go. 
or one of the places they can go actually, they can be called to any courthouse in the United States it's mandatory to do jury duty whenever you're called at least for the uh, United States citizens here's a business that's closed uh, dumpling house over here, Beijing dumpling house This area won't see as much activity right now because it is the weekend. This 89th Avenue. You can see a lot of cobblestone streets. I wonder if they're left over from the colonial times. This is a big Starbucks. To the left is the New York City Civil Courthouse. The difference between the Civil Courthouse and the Criminal Courthouse is the Civil Courthouse handles uh, disputes between two different parties that don't necessarily involve a crime. And the Criminal Court, court case will handle things like uh, burglaries and assaults, things of that nature. The Civil Court will handle stuff like, oh, uh, you're back on your rent, so that will go to civil court. Or it'll be something like a contract where somebody didn't agree to like certain terms in the contract, like, oh, you wanted to deliver 10 apples to me, but I only got nine. So that will be settled in civil court. Here's a discount store, Rainbow uh, Shoes and Shops. This is a parking lot for the nearby courthouses as well as the area in general. Looks like they're having a pop-up market here. A lot of different designs. A lot of the sh bags look like uh, high-end designer bags, but they don't put their logo on it. But I'm approaching Jamaica Center right now. Now you'll see a lot of the commercial businesses all around here. It'll just be overwhelming for many of you but just to the left and right of me, there's pawnbrokers, uh, loaners, a barber shop. This is a uh, wireless store. A shoe warehouse is across the street. There's the pawn shop, cash loans. Okay, this is Jamaica Avenue, the busiest street in Jamaica. I'll come back to this later. But I want to show you Archer Avenue, the uh, Jamaica Center Archer Avenue station, which is the main transit hub of Jamaica, Queens. Here we have a vendor here selling sliced mangoes. There's a deli here. It's a major bus stop. A lot of buses come here. Q60, which runs on Queens Boulevard. They have uh, at least one bus I know goes to JFK Airport as well. Oh my goodness. This car's really squeezing in between the buses there. You have to be on your toes here because it's a lot of traffic. Don't want to be caught between two vehicles or get squished. 
and I'm going to keep talking because I don't want you two to detect the copyrighted music because I don't want this video to be demonetized. So here's a grocery store with a lot of different things, avocados, lemons, limes, apples, bananas. You can see up ahead, there's the Long Island Railroad Station for Archer Avenue. This is the entrance to Sutphin Boulevard, Archer Avenue on the E, J, and Z trains. If you're coming to the Jamaica with the air train from John F. Kennedy Airport, this is where you'll end up. What's up with all this honking? I have no idea. Actually, I do have an idea. Many of the local uh, vehicle routes, the car services, they'll honk their horn every once in a while to let people know that they're available for pickup. So here's a bus, the Q25, going to the station. Drivers have no patience. Long Island Railroad Station. The bus driver is still honking their horn. So this is where you'll get off if you take the air train to Jamaica. It's very convenient to get the subway from here. The E train will lead you right into Midtown Manhattan or you can take the Long Island Railroad to Penn Station. Keep in mind that the Long Island Railroad is more expensive than the New York City subway, but in my opinion, the Long Island Railroad has uh, much more comfortable seats and is a much more pleasant ride. It may cost you about $7 to get to Manhattan versus $2.75 via the subway. But from here, you can also take the Long Island Road to Long Island as well, beyond the reaches of the New York City subway. You can see, I bet these people ahead of me are just coming out from the airport. They took the air train here. You see, they even have the banners here. Long Island Railroad's faster to Manhattan, but the subway is cheaper. But that may not actually be true because during late nights, the Long Island Railroad would actually have reduced service on the subway will run more frequently. So you kind of have to check the schedule and see what works best for you, as well as uh, if you're bringing luggage or not, that's also a concern. Notably, the subway stations uh, at the stops above Times Square, they don't have elevators, or they'll have elevators on only one direction, which is really annoying. Anyway, I'm going to turn around now and walk back up to Jamaica Avenue. I have 10 seconds to cross the street, which is plenty. like this plot of land is under construction or maybe a vacant lot. I have no idea. But I'll just point my camera up so you can see the craziness and grandeur of this uh, transit hub, the Jamaica Center Transit Hub. Here we have native New Yorkers eating New York City street food.
Even the pigeons here have to make a living. Dunkin' Donuts. Looks like it's a grand opening for this Dunkin' Donuts. Here's a bus shuttle here. Looks like it may be for the Resorts World Casino, which is the only casino in New York City. It's actually located uh, right next to Howard Beach, I believe in the, um, yeah, I think I, it is in Howard Beach or maybe Ozone Park, but it's New York City's only casino. This area under the, uh, to my right is under construction. It's going to be affordable housing. Just looking at the banner, Housing New York. I'm back at Archer Avenue, but the light is red, so we'll have to wait. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to wait too long. I'm actually going to walk a little bit away from this person on the corner because they are playing music loudly and I don't want to get demonetized. But that's the Crown Fried Chicken and Pizza. Maybe it is a chain of restaurants. I have seen them in other neighborhoods as well. There's the Sutfin Books and Video store across the street. Although it looks like it's selling more than books and video, they have like construction vests and reflective vests in the front there, as well as backpacks. So I'm not going to walk too fast because I want to keep my distance. Here's a look at the interior of the crown fried chicken. Just take a look at all these cars across the street, all the car service vehicles. This uh, dip in the road just shows you how bad the roads are in New York. The bad infrastructure. So this is McDonald's. It's always a staple around the world. Okay, that person is giving me the middle finger. Very nice, but Nice, good way to make a fool of yourself. But here's Jamaica Avenue. I'm going to make a right and turn up and show you the neighborhood of Jamaica Avenue. You know what, I'll cross the street because the sidewalk is a little bit wider on the other side. Here we'll have a lot of shopping districts and shopping uh, stores here. Everything from uh, bags and uh, clothing, shoes, Here's a store that has a lot of discounts. There was another one across the street I saw that was going out of business. Lot one ladies fashion. There's a juice bar across the street. And Cafe Energy.
there's a grocery store and there's a, um, a wireless store up ahead there are a lot of people here from the Caribbean like I mentioned at the beginning of the video Jamaica has a lot of Jamaicans and with that also comes with a lot of their uh, food and cuisine as well furniture and mattress store and uh, this is a quilt store and upholstery here we see people using the deposit machines the bottle deposit machines many of the people around here they'll pick up um, the bottles from the street because uh, New York State imposes a five cent surcharge on those plastic bottles and glass bottles that you buy from the stores. So if a drink is like a dollar, they'll actually be a dollar and five cents because they have to add the five cent bottle surcharge and you get that refunded when you bring it back to the store. But many people don't and they'll just throw it in the trash and then uh, these people those collect all the bottles and cans and then return it for a nice sum of profit. Chinese food store. There's an occupational therapy and physical therapy uh, store across the street. Liquor place selling Hennessy, prominently in the window. It's a Puerto Plata. So, Caribbean food right there. Nueva Playita. Hispanic food. This is a big safety hazard. The bricks are just crumbling into the storm sewer there. I will comment on these Museum of Sex stickers that are so prominently disp displayed on the buses. I think about a year ago, the same museum had the advertisement in front of the buses and it actually caused a lot of problems with the bus drivers because many of the bus drivers are female and they got crude remarks from many of the passengers who got on the bus. And because of that, there was a huge, uh, huge pushback against the advertisements and against the MTA who owns the bus company to get rid of those advertisements. I don't know exactly what happened from it. Maybe the advertising campaign expired or, um, or maybe they just got rid of it. But here they are back again and I'm sure it's going to be a continued problem. Here we have the King Manor Museum, the historic home of Rufus King. So I don't know too much of the history of Rufus King. Maybe we'll find out some information on the sign there. But this is the King Manor Museum in Rufus King Park. I am searching up on my phone now and it looks like he was a original signer of the US Constitution and an anti-slavery activist. Yep, the sign says it all. Signer of the US Constitution and opponent of slavery. This home is kept in really good condition. It's actually very good. A landmark actually. So 
So here's a uh, King Mansion built in 1750. Very cool. Don't know exactly how old this building is, but it's probably from the colonial times. So across the street from the park is the Queen's Family Court. Probably a Queen's Unfamily Court because if you're taking your family to court, it can't be a good family, can it? But I would assume that's where divorces happen and things such as uh, like, like a generation inheritance, like disputes would be. But yeah, this is the Queen's Family Court. This uh, big orange bu building, I believe is a federal building. I'll need to look it up actually. Yup, it is a federal building. It's actually home for the Queen's office for the Social Security Administration. And this building across the street, which looks like a, a castle with a church. You know what, let me cross the street. This is the Jamaica Performing Arts Center, otherwise known as the Jamaica Center for Arts and Learning. They're preparing a concert, it looks like outside, but very impressive building. This one on the other hand looks kind of bland if you ask me. It's impressive for sure, but doesn't really look like any color scheme that would match the area too well. I doubt this uh, building is open because government offices aren't usually open during the weekends and today is Saturday. Office of Disability and Education and Review, Queen's Social Security Office. Had to blow a bug off my hand there. It is the summertime, so there's a lot of a um, lot of different bugs. And even if you were to enter this building, you have to go to a specific entrance because I saw the door to the right. It said the public entrance is around the block. Usually, what happens with government offices is the running joke is that they're very inefficient. They'll make you stand in line and then when you get to the front they'll make you wait in another line and so on. This is a movie theater, the Multiplex Cinemas. I'll turn my camera around so you can see the Social Security building from the other side, the other corner. This is Parsons Boulevard, another major street in the area. Parsons Boulevard will head all the way up to Flushing and uh, Whitestone. They're selling Italian ices here. 
So this area looks like it's much more commercial. You have a lot of uh, street vendors here and more people walking about. This is where all the um, all the different foods will be. Someone just dropped the ticket. Lottery ticket that is. Jamaica Market Food Court is across the street. That looks really interesting. A beauty supply store, a dance studio, jewelers. I am uh, shocked by the amount of litter on the streets, especially the chewing gum. It's disgusting, but the city doesn't really do enough to clean up. And the people don't really care too much. It's a shame, really. Chipotle Mexican Grill is right here. So, um, Fabco Shoes, Sprint, and Rocks is across the street. Snipes is another, uh, looks like an athletic wear company, just looking from the exterior. H&M, discount uh, clothing retailer. Burlington. This uh, building is on the construction. Here's another um, building for the Jamaica Performing Arts. Interesting architecture here. Looks to be European. Chase building looks to be very old. I'm just gonna walk around the corner just to see the plaque here because I know it's around. Meeting House Lane. So this used to be a very, very old house. And the sidewalk clock is a example of a vanishing street amenity. So this clock is very old. The clock is broken though, but it still is very, very nice. Almost lost my words here because these people almost got hit by this driver, by this car. So I will walk up Jamaica Avenue, probably to 179th Street. Popeye, uh, Pop Beauty, this is Unique. Unique is a hair braiding store. Actually, I think it's a multi-business complex. There were a bunch of different businesses I saw back there, including a gold business. I would hate to be a bus driver in this neighborhood. There's just so much traffic here and people who are just blocking the intersection and blocking bus stops. Really not cool. Here's Guy R. Brewer Boulevard. This will lead right into uh, JFK Airport. And I have a walk signal, but I can't go because these people won't make room for the bus to turn. Then again, I didn't see any stop lines, so people can't really judge where the... Oh, there is a stop line, so... That car was too, fo uh, too much forward, didn't let the bus turn. Pizza store to my right. NYPD 103rd 
precinct car. There's two stores for rent across the street. Easy picking, pickings. GameStop. Nice variety of different businesses here. Video game store, Blink Fitness was just, I just passed it, it's a uh, gym. Two boy fighting. A lot of discounted uh, clothing dealers. Good discounts here. If you want um, discounted clothes, come to Jamaica. Seems like there's a lot of sales going on here. Hey. Very cool. All right, so Dr. J's across the street in clothing. Also a good place to get jewelry, as you heard from that person back there. Model sporting goods. So just in this one walk alone, we had two interactions with the camera. One giving the F you and another group of women giving the peace sign. So we're gonna go to 179th Street. Only about 14 blocks. Here's Spectrum Internet. 165th Street, I'm coming up on it. There's a lot of good um, restaurants and businesses in this strip of 165th Street. Especially on uh, past this King David Jewelry Place. You know what, let me go there now. I'm gonna hurry up because there's only so many seconds left. But this is a very well-known street in the area, close to motor vehicle traffic. This Jamaican flavors place, excellent jerk chicken here, very representative of the uh, cuisine from the native country. But uh, there's a lot of different businesses. I won't stay here too long because of the copyrighted music. And I'll continue on to Jamaica Avenue. Here's a church, the Tabernacle of Prayer for all people. A lot of sales here, $1.99 for many large quilts. I don't think that's right. That may be like for a certain length, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's not uh, for the whole thing. Looks like uh, that vendor back there is selling peanuts and cotton candy. Some more uh, sliced lemon, uh, mango, and Italian ices. This is Merrick Boulevard. Gap Factory Store is at this corner. Want to stay clear away from buses because you never know how close their turns are going to be. Look at this. The wheel's just so close to the curb. So here we have blue angels with suits, dresses, shoes, and accessories. And also the bridal store next to it. Good for a sweet 16 and Quinsanera. I guess that's sweet 16 for in Spanish. There's a wig store across the street, a wax center, furniture store, shoe store.
This is Cookies, the killer department store. A curtain store. I've noticed there's a lot of uh, fabric stores here, a lot of places you can buy curtains and rugs. So this may be a good place to get whatever you need. Here's discounted furniture and electronics. 24 months, no interest. A lot of dresses for sale on the street. 168th Street is right here. Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins is across the street. Urgent Care, there's a shoe store over there. T-Mobile's on the corner, the wireless provider. Oh, that pigeon almost got hit. So here we have a juice bar, a deli and grill, perfume store. And of course there's music playing. If it's gonna cause problems, I'll mute the video entirely, but I won't be saying anything that important if it's going to be a problem because I really really hate music that's blasted and I can't control it's really annoying uh, we have pigeons here flying off Marshall's discount store here you can get a lot of uh, name brand prices at closeout prices they'll actually buy a lot of the department store and uh, and brand name stores clothing and then resell it to consumers at discounted prices. You'll see a lot of um, a lot of things from Ralph Lauren and like Armani, Macy's in there, Brooks Brothers. Once in a while you can find really really high-end items but that's a rarity in Marshalls. I have also heard that the retailer will actually specifically make the discounted brands for Marshall specifically. So you may think you're getting a good bargain, but they actually produced it for Marshall specifically for that reason. So just make sure that uh, you know what you're buying. But hey, with clothing, who really cares if it's a uh, direct from the brand or not as long as you like it and it works for you then and you think it's a reasonable price then good for you dollar generals across the street and planet fitness now jamaica avenue becomes a lot more dense in terms of retailers and people but there still is a lot of activity here. Jamaica Avenue actually extends all the way into Long Island. I don't know how far it uh, goes to, but I know at least it goes to Hempstead. I do believe Jamaica Avenue turns into Jericho Turnpike at one point. The Tobacco King, you can get all your tobacco needs here, smoking uh, needs. Vaping uh, is here. Lava, two pods, that looks kind of cool. La Costa de Sol. A lot of different Hispanic foods here. A lot of different nationalities on the different flags on the window. So just a preview of what you can get. Now there's uh, 
A lot of furniture stores on Jamaica as well. If I didn't mention that earlier, you can get furniture here really cheap. A uh, gold place. Okay. Just got to make sure when you're crossing a driver, you look both ways because the driver may or may not stop for you like uh, what happened back there. I'm up to 172nd Street. Well, I guess it's 171st. Yeah, 171st. So not too far away, I'll be making a left and going back up to Hillside Avenue. Uh, fruits and vegetables, a coffee shop and bakery, income tax uh, business, and a furniture store across the street. Here's a discount store, the Jamaica 99 cent store. There's a hair studio, Dominican style, across the street. Powerhouse Zion, the Apostolic Church of God. There are a good amount of churches here as well. Let's look at some of the real estate here. 739,000 for a two family home. 650,000 for a place in Elmont, that's in um, Long Island. I don't see too many Jamaica here, just that one. But you can see for yourself if you like any of these properties, you can contact the agent. This vehicle is making, waiting to make a turn as well as this taxi, oh my goodness. goodness. Those short turns, you have to be really careful of because drivers can just make a quick turn and not even stop to think about what's happening. All right, the battery died. I'm continuing on with this walk. Not too far away until 179th Street. Looks like this is a refrigeration company and repair company. There's a deli here. Hey, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. bar and lounge yeah, across yeah, the street. Yeah. Global What's shipping up? company. One was up with that guy. He was like waving. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, do you want to be on camera or not? Not that it really matters because it is legal to record under the First Amendment of the United States. Here's a food town, a supermarket and grocery store. So it's a laundromat here. Roti Express restaurant and beer garden. And I haven't seen a larger mountain of trash like this than, uh, than some of the high rises in Manhattan, but that's when they're waiting for collection. I'm not sure why that trash has just been sitting there on the sidewalk like that, but it's just so unsightly. Another refrigeration company here. They do a lot of uh, refrigeration work in this part of Jamaica Avenue, actually. So, this building, I'm not too sure what it is. Looks very nice, though. Maybe I could find out what it is from my phone. So this building is actually a school, the public school 268. So, 
That looks like a bunch of new construction. New York City, luxury, apartments, Zara. All those homes look similar. I can't really tell from this angle if they're attached homes or detached or not. There's a big group of uh, related businesses here. There's plumbing and then they have refrigeration, dental work next to a beauty salon. Here we'll find out if these luxury apartments are attached or detached or not. Oh my gosh. That does not look luxury to me if there's wooden planks in the front of those homes. They have to still be under construction because there's no way they just leave it like that unless it's just been so bad. This building's completely closed up and looks like it's been in a fire or something. My goodness. Yeah, those homes are still on the construction. Wouldn't make sense because they have the address written all over the front door like that. So there is a tile and stone company across the street. I do notice that they have the neighborhood of St. Albans. I do believe St. Albans is a little bit south of here, but maybe I could be wrong. And this is also a part of St. Albans. So grocery store to my left. A big store for, for rent on the corner. Looks like there's a block party here, farther up. Very interesting how these car services work. So this is 179th Street. I'll be making a left here and walking up the street. Okay, we have loose rock wires here from the electrical line or maybe the telephone line. Can't really tell, but that should definitely be looked at. Don't want anyone being electrocuted by these hanging wires. There's also a big problem with the uh, trees here. Sometimes they overgrow and then they'll grow into the wires or a branch will drop on top of them and then they'll just all break. So you need to be a special kind of person in order to handle that mess of wires. Take a look at that. All these homes are really uh, interesting. They have a lot of character. They're all detached homes. They probably all are single family homes. They all look similar. 
probably all built around the same time, if not at the same time. They've got a nice long driveway, so it's good to fit at least two cars in there, two big cars anyway. But this is where, um, these are where the kinds of places that people who live in the area reside in. You can hear the block party from here that's on the next street. This uh, red brick house is very interesting. Looks different from all the other um, homes on this block. As well as this one over here across the street. Here's why you have to look down before you step. There's dog poo poo. It is actually a fine if you, I mean against the law if you don't pick up after your dog. And it should be well known by now but a lot of people don't care and they'll just leave their dog's mess for someone else to deal with or unfortunately step in which I've done it, done many times. Dog poop and chewing gum are the two things that I hate to step on. Sounds like they're having a lot of fun over there. This may be another public school. Looks to be a lot bigger than the other one that I passed by on Jamaica Avenue. This is uh PS95 Eastwood Nice quiet block on 179th Street So I'm approaching the limits of the New York City subway system. This is the station that's the furthest east in the whole entire uh, subway system. The F train 179th Street station. There were plans back in the day to extend this station further along Hillside Avenue, but here it is. We're stuck here with 179th Street, which is the, the terminal. Anyway, everyone, if you enjoyed this long walk, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Ring that bell icon so you get notified when I post a new video. And I'll see you all next time. Take it easy, everyone.